Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Mafia Definitive Edition. They did a lot of work in this game, I'm really impressed, it's, it looks really good. But uh, the game is struggle a little bit with optimization right now, I don't know if it will uh, improve with some patches. But I will show you guys what to change to make sure that you run this game well. So first of all, remove the game mode from uh, your computer, right game mode, make sure that it's at off, remove the Xbox game bar at off, and those all those capture background recording at off, recorded audio at off. Make sure also that you update your driver for the latest one. If you have AMD, go on the AMD website, Nvidia, and even Intel, if you have an integrated video card, really important, do it, make sure that you have the latest driver. Another, another thing that you can do is write GPU over there, Click graphics setting. To see this option, you really need the latest version of Windows 10, so the version 2004. And you need to activate the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. When you did that, you need to restart your computer to make sure it apply your changes. So that's about it for Windows. Uh, now we will uh, go inside of the game and I will show you what to change to make sure that everything is running smoothly. So now the graphic parameter inside of the game. So we need to go to option. After that, display. And this is pretty much where you can change your stuff. First of all, make sure that your resolution match your monitor. If after all my guide you're still struggling to run this game, you will probably need to lower your resolution. Full screen, really important to play this game in full screen. Don't go with borderless or holder mode. It's causing a lot of issue. So play full screen. V-Sync unputted, this one at off. Fill of view, this, this one is a little bit weird. I feel like I'm getting a lot of like stuttering when I go higher in my field of view. Uh, when I was saying like the game is not well optimized right now, it's the kind of stuff that it's a bit weird for, for me. So uh, you just like, uh, I don't know, you put your field of view as something like 75 or even 80. And like uh, everything seems to be fine and more you play the game, more you feel like your game is stuttering like crazy. So that's why right now I'm just like using the default one. I'm going to wait with some patches, but this is pretty much it. For the graphic parameter, first of all, depth of field, you want to remove that. You don't want this effect. Also motion blur. You're not getting like more FPS, like maybe one or two, but it's not like it's not supposed to give you more FPS. Uh, the first one, vegetation. So this game, you don't have a draw distance. Normally, um, in any game, you have view draw distance and you can say low, medium or high, I want to see just near from me. So that's a bit like a shame because for an example, vegetation, if I put this one at low, the vegetation will go at low plus the view distance of the vegetation will go at low. But for an example, normally with a game that you have more parameter, you put your view distance at low, but you can put your vegetation at medium because you will run it like more smoother because of the draw distance. Distance. So now they put like um, the quality plus the view distance in the same uh, graphic parameter for each one, like vegetation. They call it direct lighting. So that's a shame, but anyway, I don't know if it's a limitation with the engine, but uh, yeah. So let's start with uh, geometry detail. 3% if you compare high to medium. So medium is a good spot because medium with uh, to low you just get like one person so medium is good over there vegetation is really important honestly i to low i'm getting like seven percent increase so this one definitely you should put this one at low uh decal is a bit like geometry if i compare i to medium i'm getting three percent but medium to low one person so medium is a good spot uh indirect uh, direct lighting this one it's a huge one. This one plus a shadow, it's a bit crazy. If you go high to low, I'm getting 10% in my FPS. So really important this one, put this one at low. In direct lighting, go with medium. You're getting a couple of FPS high to medium, but medium to low, not a huge deal. Shadow quality, this is pretty much the parameter that will get more uh, the most FPS. If I compare high to low, I'm getting 10 to 11% in my FPS. So for example, right now, if you're running the game at 50, 52, just put your shadow quality at, at low and you should be fine. Uh, reflection quality, this one is a bit tricky. Uh, you can start at, for example, if you have like a mid-range computer, start at high. Look at your FPS. If you don't feel like you're getting some random drop, stay like this. If you're getting drop, go with medium. 
And if you're still getting job, go with low. I did a couple of tests on my laptop because it's a less powerful computer and I can definitely run at medium with a GTX 1060, uh, a mobile version with a nice i7. So it's not a huge deal, but if you feel that your game is stuttering a little bit, look at your reflection quality. Volumetering effect, this one is a, is a good deal, honestly. It's like 3% for each bracket, so high to low, you can get like 6%, so definitely this one at low. And anti-aliasing, I'm getting 3 to 4% high to medium, but medium to low 1%, and at low, the game looks really like shit, so just go with medium. So right now, this is pretty much the parameter that you can change. Uh, that's I I'm telling you guys like the percentage for each one because... Uh, you don't have the same computer, so some people are still just want like 5 to 7 FPS. Some people need 30 to get you their 60. So uh, that's why I'm telling you like this is 6%, this is 3%, this is 1%. So this is pretty much like um, what you need to change. So if you don't you don't struggle a lot, you're, you need like 10 FPS, just start with shadow quality at low and uh, direct lighting at medium. And normally you should be fine to run this game well. So that's about it for the guide. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.